Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of A Piece of New York. Today we find ourselves in the West Village, and we're going to a familiar restaurant. The reason that's familiar is because we've actually been to this location in Naples, La Antica Pizzeria da Michele. You can find that episode right here. And then on top of that, it was famous from the movie Eat, Pray, Love with Julia Roberts. Now, the difference between the United States location and the Naples location is with Naples, they only serve two pizzas, margarita and marinara. Here, they've expanded their menu, but with that... There's also a little bit of an increase in price. In Naples, it's $5 a pie. Over here, it's a little bit more. Now, the history of them in the United States is they actually opened their first location in 2019 in Los Angeles. And this location opened up in 2022 on Christmas Eve. What a gift from Santa, let me tell you. So let's go inside, check it out, see what they're all about. First impression. So I got to go back to Naples. The Naples location, it was crazy chaos, right? It was 45 minute wait. There was a long line. But on top of that, once you got inside, there was a big massive oven there and they were just cranking pizzas out. In that 45 minutes, they must have served a hundred people. It was nuts. And also you can't really sit down there. I mean, they have a few seats, but the entire time while you're getting ready to order, while you're getting ready to eat, you're waiting outside. As a matter of fact, when people got their pizzas a lot of time, they were just eating outside in the street. Here in New York City, that is not the case. It's much more of an elevated environment, but of course, that's what you're paying for in the end. Now, there's not just two pizzas here. There's an entire pizza list, but then you also have pastas that you can choose from, different entrees, appetizers. It has a it has a very much of a downtown wine bar feel, and that's what you're paying for. But I'm very excited because I know the restaurant tour. Francisco Zimoni, as well as his head chef, Michele Rabini, have definitely come and brought their A-game today. So I'm very excited to sink my teeth into some of these pies. Today we got three pies. The margarita, classic. The diavola with some spicy salami. And the arugula and prosciutto. Kind of like a sandwich. One of the things that has stuck out so far is, here they're very much keeping it by the book of the Veracci Pizzeria Neapolitana Association. What I mean by that is they keep the ingredients very limited. Here in New York City, you might get a meat lover's pie. You might get something crazy like uh, pasta on top of your pizza, whatever it may be. But the true classic Neapolitan pizza has very limited ingredients. And on top of that, the ingredients, they also need to be shipped or imported from, from Italy. With specifically the tomatoes coming from San Marzano and then the mozzarella being made with buffalo mozzarella, uh, which I believe is in Campania. But let's uh, let's take a let's take a quick bite of this. Okay, I have to say this. As soon as I went to pick this up, the fluffiness of the crust immediately just collapsed in my hand. One of the things that I did notice when they dropped this pizza off in front of me, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take two slices, by the way, and fold it like we're like we're still in New York. But what I did notice is that there was almost like a, a, a scent, like a, a sweet tart scent, which kind of makes me think that the tomato sauce is going to have both a, a hint of sourness, but also the true sweetness that a lot of that a lot of tomato sauces do have. So here we go. Cheers. This dough is everything. So light. This is one of the lightest pizzas I've ever had. And coming from somebody that has had a ton of pizza, a ton of Neapolitan pizza. I have to say, the weight, it's its so light, fluffy, soft, chewy. You have the charred bottom, which if I fold this over, you can see right there, nice charred blackened bottom, it's delicious. It has a smoky flavor, 
to, to enhance the sweet tart that the tomato sauce does provide. And of course, that milky buffalo mozzarella. A nice, rich flavor. So there's really an abundance of flavors going on with this pizza. And we've only had, we only have three ingredients, right? Only three ingredients. Well, if you want to consider the basil in the green, but tomato sauce, cheese, and of course, that delicious pizza dough. My goodness, did not disappoint. This looks like a large pizza, but because it's so light, we're going to be able to devour it. So one of the cool things about restaurateur Francisco Zamoni, the man that brought this fantastic pizzeria to New York City, is that he was originally a finance major and came to the United States in 2002 working in the film industry. After a few years, he realized it wasn't for him. He had more of a passion for food, right? Food's what bring people together. Uh, it's, it's really just the environment to just, you know, that's where business deals are made. This is where family comes together. This is where friends, you know, exchange stories and that's why he wanted to be back. And of course, growing up in Naples and eating at the, the, the original restaurant for years, he decided to make that purchase and bought Don Michele and then brought it to the United States. Well, now it's time for the Diavola, which is, I mean, working on limited ingredients again here. The exact same as the margarita, but all they did was just add their spicy salami. And I can tell you, just the scent of it already clear in the nostrils. See how spicy this guy is. Same exact thing. Very light. Mm. Smells delicious. Cooked to perfection on the bottom. Oop. Those pepperonis fell out. Alrighty. Here we go. Cheers. If I can actually get a hold of this thing. Mm. Oh yeah. That's hot. That's hot. First with that spicy salami. I love the charred burnt edges that the salami did have. On top of that, it was the dominating flavor. Where the margarita had the sweet, tart tomato sauce that really was the one that consumed all flavors of the margarita slice. This spicy salami, I took a bite of it and it went... It, it just didn't go well in contrast with the other flavors. It really just consumed it. Like I said, cleared my sinuses, really just consumed the other flavors, even though there was still that hint of sweetness, the hint of the tart. But overall, the spiciness just went real, really well. I do like this pizza more than I like the margarita. The margarita is obviously the OG, but man. And you know something, even though we got three of these, I have a feeling we might be able to pack away all three just because how light the dough is. And I will say this, I can't remember the pizza that well in Naples. I do remember that I loved it, but I think the quality here might be a little bit better. So thank you for coming to New York City, Don Michele. Alrighty, folks. So here we go. Take three, pie number three. We got the white pie, the pursuit and arugula. Now I will say that when this, when this bad boy first came out, the main flavor was that Parmesan really kind of overtook the aroma of the entire pie. Now, the difference between a white pie and a red pie is because the red pie has that extra layer of sauce, it takes a little bit longer to cook. Whereas the white pie, the crust expected to be a little bit more chewy and then a little more on the undercooked side. So, here we go. Let's try this pie. Cheers. So, the olive oil, which is which replaces the, the red sauce, definitely enhance the flavor, the other flavors of this pie. Kind of reminded me of a grilled cheese sandwich with arugula and prosciutto. It was sharp, it was gooey with the mozzarella and the parmesan. And then the arugula added a little bit of a hint of a fresh, earthy flavor. A little bit of a, on the peppery side. And then of course the savoriness of that prosciutto added a nice salty, salty touch to it. So overall, this was a delicious pie. I did like it. I think if I had to had to rank it, I'd go Diavola, the Prosciutto and Arugula, and then the Margarita last. But I mean, the Margarita is the OG. You can't you can't count it out. So if you ever want to come come to Neapolitan Pizzeria, especially this spot right here, and try their pies, you can't lose with going with the Margarita as well. Well, folks, that concludes our day here in the West Village. And I have to say, the pizza here was fantastic. Unlike any Neapolitan pizza I've ever had, mostly because how much they stretch the dough out. I mean, the pizza was just so big compared to other Neapolitan pizzas we've been to. Um, it seemed like it was extra light compared to, compared to other spots. Uh, one thing I will say, because they just opened, 
Maybe they're still working, working on a few kinks, but the service was a little bit slower than I wanted to. We made the mistake of getting the pizzas not, not served all at once, but three different times, and we were in there for over an hour. Now, for a restaurant that can make pizzas in under 90 seconds, that's what Neapolitan pizzas are known for, it took a long time for us to get those three pizzas, so that's one thing that could de they could definitely step up. Um, also, the price. I will say I love truffle pies. The truffle pie here, I just saw truffle pie, and then I saw the price. It was $65. So I didn't really look at it after that. I was just like, well, I'm, looks like I'm not getting the truffle pie today. But one of the things you do have to think is that if I do want to get this pizza, where do I need to go to? I need to go to Naples. So in the end, I guess I am saving money because I'm not flying to Italy. I could just come here to New York City, but I will say this, that New York vibe, much better than it was back in Italy because in Italy, I was eating in the street, out of the box, which by the way, we got too many pizzas. So we had extras. I don't think the director kind of carried a weight on that third one, but it's okay. Nobody's nobody's judging anyone. So for Manuel over here at a piece of New York, we just want to say thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the content, give us a subscribe. And with the weekend only a few days away, I hope you have a great day and a better week. Take it easy, y'all. Bye-bye.